For complete setup, preventive maintenance, and safe operating instructions, please read the operator's manuals that have been enclosed with this tool package. The Huck Model 3585 PT installation tool builds upon the features of the popular 3585 tool. It features a longer stroke than the 3585, a pass-through piston and end cap, and has the capability to install Huck Spin and Huck Spin 2 bobtail and C50L Huck bolts. To disassemble, begin by removing the back end plate using an Allen wrench to remove all four screws. Next, remove the locating disc. Now, using a special hex which is included with the kit, loosen the back cap. Once the cap is removed, drain the oil from the tool into a bucket. Remove the dump valve. Next, install the spacer and thread on the bullet. Then push the piston to the rear position, tapping it out with a hammer. Wipe up any excess oil that comes out with a towel. Both the front gland and piston have been removed all in one process. To disassemble, remove the bullet, the spacer, the front gland, and you're left with the piston. The 3585 PT has the advantage of being able to remove the adapter in case a collet gets stuck on the piston. To remove the adapter, set the tool upright and insert a pair of true arc pliers into the true arc ring. Squeeze and lift the ring off the adapter. Lift the cylinder and you'll see that the adapter has been removed. Now the tool is fully disassembled. To inspect the disassembled 3585 PT, first check the interior for scratches and score marks. Inspect the front and rear sections of the cylinder for scratches. Inspect the piston, looking for score marks on the front or back. Inspect the front gland. Take it apart and add new seals to the inner and outer sections. Replace the seals on the back cap, both the inner ring and outer ring. The inner seal is held in place by a small lock ring, which is removed prior to replacing the seals. Be sure to inspect the dump valve, making sure there are no heavy scores or nicks or any scratches on the edges of the flats. To reassemble the 3585 PT, first insert the adapter back into the tool, starting from the rear of the cylinder and using both hands for guidance. Gently push it in towards the front of the tool. Turning the tool right side up, insert the true arc ring using the true arc pliers, making sure it's in the lower groove. Next, assemble the bullet into the piston. Be sure to re-lubricate the piston and the inside of the front gland before reassembly. Replace the front gland, gently pushing it into the piston and tapping to make sure it's secure. Thread the ring compressor into the rear of the cylinder. After lubricating the piston assembly, Insert the assembly into the tool, tapping lightly with a hammer to help secure it into place. Now that the piston assembly has been inserted, remove the ring compressor. Remove the bullet. Next, we'll reinsert the dump valve, making sure that the flat is at the rear of the tool. Grease the seals on the back cap before reinstalling. Then replace the back cap. Insert the rear wrench and using a ratchet, thread the back cap into place until it bottoms. 
Then, back it out until it reaches the nearest scalloped notch. Insert the locator. Now align the back cap and screw into place. Tighten the screws. Time to test the tool's hydraulic system to make sure there are no leaks. Holding the tool up at an angle, cycle the tool, and once it's cycled, visually check to make sure there's no oil in the front part of the adapter. Turn the tool over to check the backside, cycling the tool once again, checking for oil. Shut it off and visually inspect the tool for oil leaks. Now we'll add the nose assembly. Note, on the collet there is a machined flat. Thread the collet on until this machined flat is flush with the face of the adapter. Before attaching the collet, cycle the tool once more to make sure it's in the full forward position. Thread on the collet, taking note of where the flat is lining up. When the flat starts to disappear, hold in the ball lock on the collet and rotate until it starts to disappear in one of the grooves on the piston. Push down the anvil and install the first section of the half ring between the adapter and anvil. Install the other section of the clip ring. Slide the sleeve over the half rings. Slide on the true arc ring. Using pliers, spread the ring and slide it down into the groove. Place the tool down on its side. To test the tool for fastening, use a C50L 1 half inch pin and a C50L non-flanged collar and washers to simulate material thickness. Slide the fastener in until the fastening cycle is complete. Because the 3585PT is a pass-through tool, the extra pin tail will come out of the back of the tool. Fastener successfully installed. Now the Huck 3585PT is ready to go to work.